Hello there, Rain Fire friends. So uh, this is just a quick video I thought I'd post up from um, uh, my practice session today, uh, giving the um, finish value some offhand practice. I mainly was wanting to, uh, of course, uh, make sure that the apertures were, you know, more or less zeroed uh, at 50 at least. Um, but you know, due to the kind of impromptu mod I made to the bolt handle, I want to give that a run too. And uh, as you can see, this, this rifle is not only beautifully crafted, but designed by uh, some folks who knew how to make a rifle for offhand shooting. You can see how my position is excellent. It just kind of falls into place. Extremely stable. Um, just an absolute joy of a rifle to shoot offhand. I don't know if you can see, but um, as I cycle the bolt, I'm actually cycling the bolt with one finger, which I've never been able to do with this rifle before. So that's how much more value I now have. And uh, it actually makes me fall in love with this rifle all over again, because the one downside that r the rifle had was its bolt lift. And uh, like the trigger pull, everything is just wonderful on it. And I'm getting a pretty high percentage of hits here. The target is a three inch uh, steel one at 50, but it's mainly because this rifle is so accurate. I'm using just practice ammo, so I'm absolutely terrible Aguila 38 grain subsonic. I bought a brick of it just to try, and um, it's been pretty poor in most examples I've tried, so I'm actually near the end of it. And I'm just giving it a go here. So anyway, I just wanted to post this quick video up to show you guys what it's like offhand. I'll be shooting it in tomorrow's paper match, the field precision shoot. And um, I just wanted to bring it out today and kind of get a quick zero at 50 and make sure it functioned with the apertures correctly, which it does. And uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. If not, I'll leave it here. I want to thank you guys a lot for watching.